Good afternoon or evening wherever you happen to be in the country. Welcome to another edition of the Old Time Radio Superman Show. I appreciate everybody. I actually got quite a few uh, people signed on and uh, excellent to have so many people listening in and we appreciate it, particularly as we get towards the end of the month and uh, as Talk Shoe uh, gets ready to cut its payment and in its payment month, we uh, enjoy live listeners very much. So uh, thank you. For th- thank you so much. Um, so we're going to get started today. We le- when we left off uh, the last episode, uh, su- uh, basically Clark Kent and uh, Lois Lane were headed to Dyersville to a ad- to investigate a series of catastrophic uh, situations that have happened there. Uh, and then a voice and uh, on the radio warned them to go back. And as we, as we last left, they really know how to leave you with a cliffhanger. Uh, the car was in peril, and the question was, how on earth is Clark Kent uh, going to be able to save Lois Lane without revealing his identity as Superman? Uh, as this car is preparing to go as the bridge goes. So, exciting stuff here. Uh, as we go ahead and we get uh, as we get started, I do want to let you know uh, and encourage you just before we start that to please check out Laser and Sword magazine. That's lasersword.adamsweb.us because if you like serial fiction, you will love Laser and Sword magazine because it features serial fiction just like uh, on the Superman show. And we've got superheroes. Here's the best part, though. You can uh, download our first issue, no charge. Uh, read it, and if you enjoy it, uh, then great. Uh, you'll be able to look forward to the next issue. So uh, get the first issue on the house. All right, so today's episode, we're going to go ahead and get started. The Mystery of Dyersville, uh, the second part, airs March 25th, 1940. So let's go ahead and head back on time in time, excuse me, and listen to Superman. Transcription feature, Superman. (laughs) Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. And now, Superman. When we last saw him, Clark Kent was traveling toward the mountain city of Dyerville with Lois Lane to investigate a curious chain of disasters and accidents that had held the city in a grip of fear for the past eight days. But as they reached the toll bridge over the Jefferson River, leading into Dyerville, the bridge suddenly trembled and swayed. Lois screamed as their automobile slid toward the guardrail, and Kent leaped away in the darkness. As our story continues, he has become Superman. Red cloak streaming in the wind, he plummets down through the night in a desperate effort to save the bridge and prevent the car from plunging into the river below. Listen. bridge is shaking like a tree in a high wind. If I can get down under it and hold it, find out what's wrong. Here we are. Why, the foundation's half gone. Blown apart as if it had been hit by a shell or a torpedo. Those girders are just hanging loose. If I can only put them back where they belong. I don't know. It's pretty far gone, but maybe I can make it. If I don't, the whole thing will fall up. Crash in the river. Blow us along with it. Now then. One more pull. Ah. Ah, made it. Twisted that steel work back into place. Now to return to Lois on the bridge as Clark Kent. Up. Up. Oh, what's happened? Where are the lights? It's so dark. Kent. Kent. Lois. I mean, Miss Lane. Uh, are you all right? The bridge. What about the bridge? Oh, don't worry about the bridge. But what was it? What happened? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the foundation gave way in the flood. We'll be all right if we keep going. Come on, get back in the car. Uh, lucky it didn't roll off the bridge and smash up. Kent, we can't cross now. Oh, yes, we can. I, I've paid the toll. Clark, can't you fool? I'm not thinking about the toll. The bridge will go down with no, us. No, it won't, Lois. It's safe now, I'm sure. Come on, get in. Here we go. Now, if you're the least bit afraid, just shut your eyes. Clark Kent and Lois Lane cross the damaged bridge safely and arrive in Dyerville. Next morning, in the office of the city commissioner, they wait for an interview. Oh, here he is now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning. And this is Miss Lane, I take it, and Mr. Clark Kent, both of the Daily Planet. Sorry to bother you, Commissioner, but 
We're after a story about what's been going on in Dyerville. Yes, come into my office and close the door. All right. Uh, sit down, Miss Lane, Mr. Kent. Thanks, Commissioner. We won't take up too much of your time. Yeah, don't worry. If you were ordinary reporters, you wouldn't take up any of it. I'd see to that. But I've had a call from your editor. Oh, you have? From Mr. White? Yes, Perry White of the Daily Planet. It's about you, Kent. Me? Yes, Mr. White tells me that you're not only a good reporter, but that you seem to have a knack of digging out what's back of things. Well, I'm sure I don't know. It's a knack or just dumb luck. Well, either one will do me. Because if I don't get to the bottom of this business, and soon... Uh, Just what's happening, Commissioner? Well, have you heard about the Jefferson Bridge last night? What? The South Pier was carried away as if a giant monster had bitten a chunk out of it. Good heavens, and we were on it. Yes, but that's not all. Whatever it was, some human agency or mysterious force not only almost took the bridge away, but put it back. What? That's what I say. Most of the steel girders were torn loose from their rivets, but someone replaced them, twisted them together so they'd hold. Why, only a Superman could have done it. Superman. Uh, Just imagine that. Well, forget about the bridge. It's the least of what's happened. There was the matter of the electric power. Three days ago, it went completely out for no explainable reason. And what about that flood, Commissioner? Yes, yes, the flood. And the earthquakes or explosions or whatever they were. I tell you, I can't stand much more of this. None of us can. Why, we never know from one moment to another what's going to happen next. Huh. And there's uh, no explanation? No clue of any kind? Kent, not a one. What if they're not accidents? What if there's some human fiend behind all this? What's he trying to do? What does he want? Does he intend wiping the city off the map? Oh, no, no, no. Take it easy, Commissioner. There's probably some very simple explanation. And all right. All right. Probably there is. But you find it, Kent. Go out and dig it up. Say, I've had the best men I know on it so far, and they haven't found a thing. I tell you, I'm at the end of my rope. Well, Miss Lane and I may be able to help, Commissioner. And I hope so, Kent. I hope so. Because if this madness doesn't stop soon, I think we'll all go out of our minds. If there's just one more catastrophe, one more unexplained accident... Hmm. Hello? Yes, yes, this is the Commissioner. What? What? When did it happen? Mr. Kent, what is it? Quiet, I want to hear. What? Yes, well, get every boat in the river, you understand? Every boat... Yes, call tugs and police launches, but land that barge. Get it out of trouble. Listen, something's gone wrong on the river. Yes, yes, call me back. I'll be right here by the phone. Commissioner, what is it? What's happened? There's a railroad barge with 15 tank cars on it, loaded with gasoline. It broke loose from its tug. What? It's drifting downstream toward the falls. Toward the falls? Yes, and they can't stop it. They can't stop it. The tide's too strong and they can't do a thing. Kent, where are you going? Where do you think? Out to find that barge. I'll see you later, Commissioner. What? You wait here, Miss Lane. Some story in that. I'll be back as soon as I can. Wait. Wait. I'll come too. Wait. Sorry, Lois. Can't stop now. If there's an emergency like that, it's time Clark Kent gave way to Superman. Ah, here's a window. No one in sight. Good. We're up. Up. And away. <laughs> Off like a streak of light, Superman leaps into the air, heads for the river, and disappears in a bank of mist. Meanwhile, the Jefferson River is a scene of terror and confusion. Whistles scream, but nothing can stop the swift course of the helpless railroad barge. Caught in the rapid current and moving ever faster toward the falls, the two men on the barge are frantic with fear. They can't get us. We're going faster and faster. Look, get ahead. Ain't that the falls? No, we're going over. We're going over, sure. we got to jump. Jump and swim for it. No, no, don't jump. Stay with the barge. It's our only chance. I tell you, we'll be killed, drowned, smashed to pieces. Jump. Jump, I tell you. Jump. Ah, there's the barge. And there are the falls, too. Not much time. Got to dive down there, grab that barge load of railroad cars, and tow them back where they came from. I must be careful. One spark might set that gasoline off. Down into the water. Down. Down. Three good strokes and I'm there. One, two, three. Ah, ah, got them. I've caught the barge. Now all I have to do is tow it back up the river. And without being seen, here we go. Ah. 
Superman, exerting his terrific strength, brings the heavily loaded barge around in the river, forces it upstream, eases it safely into a dock, and disappears again in the murky water of the Jefferson River. And presently, back in the office of the city commissioner, where Lois still waits... There it is. There it is. That barge. It's gone over the falls. I hardly dare answer the phone. Shall I take it, Commissioner? No, no. Hello? Yes? What? You... You say it's safe? It... It slid back upstream? Floated into a dock? And it didn't go over the falls? Wait a minute. You, you're sure? What? <laughs> I don't care how it happened. All I need to know is they're safe. Oh, Miss Lane, Miss Lane, that barge is all right. Well, Commissioner, what's happened? Well, I don't know. Some crazy, impossible story, but who cares about that? Yes, come in, come in. Hello, Commissioner. Oh. Hi, Miss Lane. Well, hello there, Kent. I guess you've heard the news, too, huh? About the barge? <laughs> yes, and I decided I might as well come back. <laughs> you didn't get your big story after all, did you, Mr. Kent? Oh, there's still a story, Miss Lane. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? That affair of the railroad barge breaking away from its tug was no accident, sir. What? Mr. Kent knows all the answers, Commissioner. Those cars and that gasoline were meant to go over the Jefferson River Falls. Oh, Kent, you're joking. No, 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 I'm not joking. Mr. Kent, how do you know all this? Very simple, Miss Lane. The steel cable joining the barge and the tug didn't break. It was cut. Commissioner. Yes, yes. Commissioner, have you heard? Did you get it? Get what? What are you talking about? Turn on your radio. Radio? Radio? What are you talking about? Come on, it's on, Commissioner. Yes, yes. Guyville. What? Calling the city of Guyville. What's that? Listen, What's that? listen. Calling the city of Guyville. The secret empire demands the sum of one million dollars. One million dollars is the price of Guyville. To be paid by midnight tomorrow. If it is not paid, Guyville will cease to exist. This is the yellow mask. Diaville, calling the Shut city of Shut that Dyer. thing off. What does it mean? Kent. What does it mean? Kent, did you hear? The yellow mask. We thought he was dead. Killed when that plane crashed. What's she talking about? Kent, what is it? Commissioner, it means just this. Miss Lane and I have met the yellow mask before. It means that unless you raise one million dollars by midnight tomorrow, Dyerville will be wiped off the face of the earth. Suddenly, like the shadow of a dreadful nightmare, the hand of the yellow mask hangs darkly over Dyerville. Now the reason is clear for the long chain of accidents that plagued the city. The yellow mask has been placing the people of the town in the grip of a deadly terror. What will happen next? What can Superman do in the few short hours that remain? Tune in next time and follow the story. Be sure to tune in the next thrilling installment of the amazing transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. Welcome back. Wow. Uh, very, uh, very uh, interesting cliffhanger to end on, uh, as always. Uh, I do, I do admit I was you know I have given what we have heard before uh, I think I had the yellow mask thing figured out about an episode ago um, but still you know yellow mask involved versus Superman uh, you know there's there's going to be a, quite a bit of uh, uh, of a fight before this is all said and done so we're going to find out what happens next week. Uh, I do thank everybody so much for listening. I apologize. We had some issues in the chat room uh, with people being able to hear. If you ever come by and you're not able to hear, uh, just go in and go out of the chat room, and it'll usually reset so you'll be able to hear it. That's just the talk show audio. Again, I encourage everybody to visit Laser and Sword Magazine, lasersword.adamsweb.us. If you have any comments or thoughts on the show, email me, adam at adamsweb.us. And please cast a vote for us on Podcast Alley. Uh, PodcastAlley.com, just put Old Time Radio Superman in there, and uh, it will uh, take you to where you can cast a vote for us. For now, though, I thank everybody so much for listening. This is Adam Graham, signing off. <laughs>